Hi there, my name is Giovanni, and I have a goal to make it to the semifinals of the World Championship of Public Speaking at Toastmasters. Now, I know what you're thinking. How do you plan for that? That's kind of like a big deal if you actually manage to do that. Well, uh, I might not make it. But the idea is I'm going to do a video series where I show the entire process from beginning to end of planning this speech. I don't even have a topic picked out yet. I'm going to do the entire research, finding a topic, writing the topic, practicing everything that is involved in, in making a good speech like this, and I'm going to do a video series where you can watch me as I go through this process. Now, a little bit about myself if you don't know who I am. I'm a public speaking coach as a side business, and I have quite a bit of experience with public speaking. I've gotten some awards um, in the past, but this would be the, the biggest thing I've done, and I want to push myself. So here's the idea. I'm going to be doing maybe weekly, it depends on the frequency of when I get to work on the speech, but I'm going to do these videos and just informally show you what I'm doing along the way so that you can learn a little bit about speech writing for your own purposes. I'm going to start this video by doing research and basically what I'm doing is building a spreadsheet where I'm going to track all the championship winners of the last few years and find common threads between them. What are the things that they all do right? I know, a spreadsheet, I'm kind of nerdy like that. But it works. I'll be able to find some things that probably no one has ever considered before. And I'll be writing a blog post about it as well on my site. So anyway, I want to take you along for this journey. And if you're interested, keep watching and I'll show you that spreadsheet and what I'm doing in a second. Alright, so here we are at this spreadsheet that I've created. And I've only started filling it out. Basically what I do is I watch... One of the speeches here, I started with 2017, and I just go through it and fill out the columns that I've created here. And in these columns, I have some quantitative stuff and some qualitative stuff, basically anything that I think could be relevant to why these speeches stand out. So I have their style, the, the type of speaker they are, this is very subjective the topics and the themes that they face, the main lesson, the amount of laughs, this is really important because we want to see how much humor plays a role, the amount of stories that they tell, whether it's uh, the kind of emotions that they invoke here, what prop they use. So far, all the top, uh, the last four, have had a prop, and so I'm, I'm waiting to see if any of them don't even have a prop. It seems to be very common to have a prop, a very small one. Uh, hand motions, what type they have. I haven't filled out all of these yet because sometimes I have to watch the entire speech all over again, only paying attention to that one thing. Um, catchphrases, I've noticed a lot of catchphrases here. And types of audience participation. Meta is whether they mention Toastmasters or like talk about it in some way, pull it into their speech. So far, there's been a lot of meta for sure. And I'm also going to try to get words per minute. I'm going to, I have an idea of how I can get that without actually counting each word manually. But basically, the idea is I want to find out what they all have in common or what they don't have in common, what matters, what doesn't. And from this, I can learn how to write my own speech in a way that will be successful. All right, that's it for this episode. I don't want to waste your time with the filling out of the spreadsheet, of course, so I'll get back to you as soon as it's finished. And I'll also have an article breaking down everything that I learned from this process. All right, see you next time.